Instructions for configuring Mikrotik HAP AC2 router. Device configuration. In this article, I will help you install the router so that the device can connect to the internet using a public IP address. A public IP is the IP that your ISP, internet service provider, gives you. It can be dynamic IP or static IP. Public IP is a limited resource and you have to pay to use it. Private IP is the IP assigned by the user's device and it is completely free. The connection protocol used in the article is PPPoE, point-to-point -point protocol over Ethernet. Your router is one point, the other point is on the ISP side. Step 1. Select the one port and lone port for the device. By default, the device does not specify which one port is, so you must select the one port for the device. You can use any port as a one port. If you use multiple internet connections, you can choose to add a number of other ethernet ports as one port. In the article, I use an internet connection, so I choose port number one as the one port and the remaining four ports as lone ports. I will group ports 2, 3, 4, and 5 into a group I call LON network. If you don't like it, you can give it another name as long as you understand it. Group creation operation LON network as shown below. After creating the LON network group, you need to put ports 2, 3, 4, and 5 into this group. Add port 2 to the LON network group as shown below. Add ports 3, 4, and 5, do the same as with port 2. Now we will return to port number 1 to configure it as a one port going out to the internet. Step 2. Declare internet access information, PPPoE recording, that the Winbox interface, PPP equals interface equals plus equals PPPoE client, you play the role of PPPoE client and the ISP is the PPPoE server. The interface PPPoE window appears in the general tab, Interfaces section, select an Ethernet port you want to be the one port. Here I choose Ethernet port 1 slash lone 1 as the one port to go out to the Internet. At the Dial Out tab, enter the username and password from the contract with the ISP here and click OK. That's the step of declaring Internet access information. Step 3. Choose a DNS domain name resolution server. IP is a series of numbers and characters arranged according to certain rules used by computers to find addresses. But people cannot remember and understand those sequences of numbers and characters, instead they use domain names to search for addresses on the internet. Therefore, a system slash server is needed to resolve domain names for computers to understand by linking slash assigning IP addresses to domain names. Domain name IP address Google.com 172.217.24.206 Yahoo.com 72.30.35.10 Equals, computers use IP and people use domain names to find addresses, back to Mikrotik, you need to choose a DNS server for the router to get information. In this article I use Google's DNS because it works well and is easy to remember. The two commonly used Google DNS servers have IP addresses of 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4. If you don't want to use Google's, you can use Cloudflare's DNS with IP addresses 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1. To select the DNS server, operate IP equals DNS equals enter the DNS server IP address here. It doesn't matter if you enter one DNS address or both addresses. But in my opinion, you should enter both in case DNS A has a problem and DNS B is still working, otherwise it will interrupt internet access. Once you have completed steps 2 and 3, you have created a path to connect and transport data from the router to the outside of the internet. Now you need to create a path to connect and transport data from the router to internal internal clients. Step 4. Create and assign private IP addresses to the LON network group. The next thing you need to do is assign IP addresses to each device in the internal network system. 
The router will now act as a server allocating IPs to devices connected to it. Operate as follows, IP equals addresses equals plus equals in address, enter the private IP address you want. For example, 192.168.1.1 slash 24. At interface, select loan network to set the private IP address for this loan group. Next, you need to use DHCP so that the router automatically assigns an IP address when a client connects to the ports in the LON network group. IP equals DHCP server equals DHCP setup equals DHCP server interface equals you select the LON network group so that the router will automatically grant IP addresses to the entire LON network group. Then next continuously until the end. After completing step 4, you have created a path to connect the router to each client on the internal network. The path from the router to the internet and the path from the router to the devices on the internal network are complete, so can the devices on the internal network go out to the internet? The answer is not yet. The final step is NIT, Network Address Translation. Step 5, Network Address Translation, NAT. To put it simply, NAT is allowing multiple clients to go out to the internet at the same time using a public IP address and vice versa. NAT uses public IP to replace private IP in packets from the client to the router and sends it to the internet, and vice versa, uses private IP to replace private IP and then forwards it to the client that needs to receive it. Reason, only public IP can be routed in the internet environment, while private IP can only be routed in the internal network. All data from clients on the internal network that wants to go out to the internet must go through the router. To route data, the router needs information about source IP slash source MAC, destination IP slash destination MAC and other information fields. The router will act as an intermediary device between the internal network environment and the internet. Operation on Winbox is as follows, select IP equals firewall equals NAT equals plus. In the general tab, chain section, select SCNAT out section. Interface select PPPoE corresponding to the line you want to NAT. Next, go to the Action tab in the Action section and select Masquerade equals no matter how many one lines there are, NAT must be performed that many times. Now you can connect to the internet through four LAN ports number 2, 3, 4 and 5. Step 6. Activate and use Wi-Fi. By default, the manufacturer will turn off two Wi-Fi network cards 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. You need to enable them and configure a little. In interfaces or wireless, you will see they are disabled. Now select them and enable them. Think of these two Wi-Fi networks as two LAN ports. You can put them into the LAN network group to get the IP or create a new group for it. I will create a new group for it called Wi-Fi network and put these two Wi-Fi networks in it the same way I put port numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5 in the LAN network group. Create a Wi-Fi network group. Put two Wi-Fi network cards into the Wi-Fi network group. Create password for Wi-Fi network group. To grant an IP address to this group, do the same as step 4 above. Just change LON network to Wi-Fi network and set different different IPs of these two groups to avoid overlap. Wi-Fi installation is like other Wi-Fi broadcasting devices, you need to choose SSID, password, channel width, number of channels, please refer to the configuration below, the parts highlighted in red are the parts you need to pay attention to, I demo do the same with the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band.
Band 2.4 GHz, 2 GHz, G slash N, Band 5 GHz, 5 GHz, N slash AC. Now you can use the device's Wi-Fi.